They are right on target. Your bishop becomes more powerful by developing towards the action. They stop the check by interposing a piece between your bishop and their king. No surprise, you had to move your bishop to safety. Their knight comes into play, attacking the center. You develop a knight, which means you move it from its starting position. You had the upper hand, and now your position is winning. A knight in the center controls more squares. This is a fair trade. You recapture the piece. They block the check from your bishop. Nice, definitely the right move. Their queen moves into the game. Castling protects your king and activates your rook. That's not a mistake, but they did not find the best move here. You prevented your opponent from castling keeping the king in the center. Their best option was to kick a bishop. Good job stepping in to defend your bishop. Their pawn attacks your bishop, kicking it out of its current position. This will win a queen with correct play. That was the only move. This move will win a queen with correct play. They are threatening to eventually win material. Nice fork, you'll be winning material. Their king steps away from the check by your queen. Your rook has great control of the open file. They had a better way to evade the check from the opposing rook. Good job, that's what I would have played too. They move their king out of the check from your queen. Your move gets closer to checkmate. That was the only move. You're continuing down the road to checkmate. Their king steps away from the check by your queen. You continue the checkmate attack. That pawn was yours for the taking. 